Hi. I very much enjoy listening to you. Thank you. Um, this is like two folk kind of taking her wherever okay. you wanted to go with it. Okay. But I'm wondering, uh, when was next for you? Okay. Or like, what's after even? What's after that? Okay. And like, who are you, you talked about bringing people with you? Like, who are some people who you're dropping seeds? Like, where yes. the seeds been dropping, and what? Man. Where's the fruit of the tree when it drops? <laughs> um, okay. So for your first question, um, where am I going next? Um, I'm really focused on getting two new security certs by the end of this year. Uh, it's a little ambitious, but it's going to happen. Cause, so are you. Because <laughs> that's what I want. Um, <laughs> and then from here, um, I think from this role, I've kind of played around with some thoughts. I think I'd be dope at uh, like investigating other companies. So maybe some mergers and acquisition type stuff. Like, what's under your hood? <laughs> I love to investigate. Um, so I think that's what's going to be next. Um, as far as the seeds, this part is really on me because I know I seem super extroverted, but I it, I could be really shy. So it's hard for me sometimes to just engage people or attend a networking event by myself. Um, so that's why I'm here tonight because I really do believe that we need to have our people in these spaces. Um, so whenever I'm out now, if I meet people, you could if you see me, you can ask me pretty much for anything and I'll do my best to like figure it out for you. Give me a resume, I'll edit it for you. I'm not opening my life up for y'all, but I'm just saying like that's that's kind of how I maneuver. Like I want every single person around me to win. Um, so definitely y'all hopefully will see me around at a lot more things because I need to start letting people know that this space is open. Uh, security is a little bit of a challenge because um, for me, you, you have to love security to work in security or you will not get out of bed in the morning it will tear you apart. It's gonna be some of the hardest problems you ever had to solve. But if you love it and you love what you do, that's that's nothing, you're gonna get up, you know? Um, so, but I would encourage you to see that as an option. That's hey. 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 Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Jessica Lee. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm really excited about this conversation. Um, So, can we give her a round of applause? Yeah. 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 It's so blessed to have your energy and your presence here. Thank you. I so love my energy. Yeah, my one thing is um, amongst everything that you've experienced, whether struggle, whether flourish, whether you know attracting what you want, um, amongst all of it. What still keeps you up at night? Ooh, me, because I am extremely hard on myself. So I've had to get into the practice of letting myself like relax sometimes. You know, if you do the work, you're gonna reap the rewards. But the one of the struggles I've always had is just um, I know I gotta go. I know I don't have no support sometimes, so it's hard for me to relax. So I'll be up at night. What you about to do next, Shamika? Like I'm talking to myself. And I really had to change that conversation with myself. Like, you got this. Like, what is you tripping on? When the last time you let yourself down? So um, that's what keep me up at night um, and Queen of the South now. <laughs> I, like that. <laughs> I like that show. <laughs> I was watching the last episode. That, man, it's so good. Have y'all been watching I'll that? be ready to quit my job. I'm like, I can't yeah, do she is so nice. Nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil up anybody, but nah, need to get into that last episode, I'm like, I was, no, I don't know if I'm caught up yet, so don't tell me nothing. <laughs> one more, one more question. Cool. So I guess this is the new thing. We we just gonna have the question chair like. I like, I like it. That. It's a hot seat. It's very it's personal. Hot seat. And who started it? A black woman. Hey. <laughs> you know. All right. Thank you so much for your story. Let me look at your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you for your story. No uh, it's pretty uplifting and inspiring to hear about your tale. Um, my question is more from the programming side. You know, <laughs> programmers think they're pretty smart, and actually, the security researcher is the bane of our existence because they tell us they're not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, for people who don't have the traditional backgrounds, so what do you tell them as new programmers to do to avoid you fucking this shit up? Yeah. <laughs> because it comes across my mind a lot like 
I don't know if you know about like Myers Briggs personality test. Yeah. Um, I'm very red. I only can see straight. So that means I don't want nothing that's gonna slow me down coming up. And if it comes to something that I feel like you could have taught in advance, like it just drives me crazy. Like why won't y'all teach them in advance? So um, not to try to um, scare you or anything, but one, listen to your security uh, people. They they're doing their best to make sure that your stock price don't go down, okay? Um, <laughs> that's our job, to keep that stock price high. Um, but two, I would encourage you to take that on for as a personal challenge. Mm. Because if you want to be better, I would say start introducing um, secure coding development life cycles into your current practice, and you'll probably be the next security engineer because it's, it's just a few things you can tweak. It's not a ton, it's the way you think. That's how I think about security, it's very conceptually. It's a lot of what you do, but it's a lot of how you think too. So um, I'm not a developer, but I always encourage people to start talking about the secure development lifecycle early. Um, I know Twilio's gonna introduce that into uh, the game that they have on our website, Twilio Quest, um, because it's important. At the end of the day, these mistakes could cost us the business. Thank you. Cool, so I think that's all we got. Um, give her another round of applause. We've been talking it hard. Two of you like, two reports keep hitting me up. We, we talked last week. And the thing about, think, <laughs> the, the, the thing about doing events, right? Um, you guys don't know this, but people are, are like, I think everybody is on CP time. Right, so I'm talking to her and I'm like, yeah, you know, like the ticket sales are low, but it's fine. Like people usually buy tickets mainly the week of or the day of. And she was like, oh, we're going to sell some tickets. Like, you know, it, it, I like to win. I do too. And uh, yeah, I just really wanted to thank you for really pubbing it and, and putting us on that platform. You know, like she ended up telling Twilio, like, yo, you're going to retweet us. You're going to retweet the trap out. Right? And like, that's they one thing. Expecting that. Yeah, I was, that's the one thing that I want you all to take from her, right? Like, manifest it, right? Speak it out to the universe, tell God you want it, proclaim it, but then put your actions behind it. Yeah, you got do do it. Yeah. Right. So, put without further ado, we're going to start with the artist. Thank you, Shamika. What's on Instagram? For blessing, oh, the, blessing the My trial. Instagram is Mika, M I K A, Bonita, with a zero. <laughs> <laughs>